Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you all are doing well. It's the Infla and the table here. Today we've got the fourth consecutive inflatable in the week of inflatables as I like to call it. This is the 7 foot 2013 airblown bowling pin Santa Claus inflatable from Lowe's. This sold with the snowman and the penguin and the reindeer. I have three of the four. I lost the penguin. I have the Santa and the snowman, but enough of that. I want to talk about this box art because this is probably the last 2013 I will ever own. The box for the gingerbread house and the snowman are gone. I can't find them. And I just want to take a minute and look at this and show you guys what it looks like because this is pretty high resolution. And I just want to take a minute, you know, process it because I don't know what I'm going to do with this box. I'll keep it for a while. You can see this box has a lot of stains on it. It's not in very good condition. Here are the instructions. Very old and mangled. Not looking good at all. See that stain there? Read Santa Claus up there. And then here's the outline of the inflatable and then the holiday living logo. The non updated version. So this adapter right here is the one from the Rudolph. This one also does not have an adapter, just like the snowman which is pretty unfortunate. So now we'll go ahead and take the inflatable out of the box, set it down. Now I'm going to move the box over here, and then we'll go ahead and take the bag off of the inflatable. Go ahead and spread it out. There's the fan, and then we'll get the wire off of the inflatable. It's kind of wrapped around it, don't want that. set the instructions aside. That should be good. Now we'll go ahead and put the wire in the adapter. Screw it in. Nice and tight. Now we'll go ahead and plug it in. Pretty much going to inflate just as fast as the snowman, I would say. And the penguin, if I had it. And the reindeer, if I had it. I might have to help it up here. Yeah, I will. There's its face. Come on. Maybe not quite as fast as the snowman on second thought. Its feet are inflating. Or its stability supports. There we go. All inflated. Or at least mostly. The beer takes a minute. I'll go ahead and pause the video to cut to when the beard is fully inflated. Alright, so now it's inflated. You can see, inflates pretty tight. I mean, it's a cheap fan, so it's not going to, to inflate super tight. Here's the top of the beard. Kind of push on it, and then it inflates back. It's got some scuff marks on the eyes, unfortunately. The eyebrows barely inflate. You kind of just have to pull them out. Barely any air gets to them. Here's a look at its arms like it's going to hug you, which I like that. It's very sweet. Three out of the four bowling pin inflatables have these kind of feet, except for the penguin, which has an animated version of penguin's webbed feet in real life. One complaint I have with this inflatable is the fact that this exterior flap, or whatever it's called, does bend a lot, especially with this belt buckle right here. It curls over and it's a real pain because you have to fix it every time or else it won't look good at all. But it's not too bad. It doesn't ruin the inflatable. It's got four tethers in total, two on the top. See, here's the other one on the top. And I've staked it down. I've staked it down to the bottom, but I haven't put any tethers on mainly because I'm too lazy. It's got three lights in total, one behind the head one in the mid body range then one at the bottom here's a look at the zipper and the fan 
I don't understand why Jimmy couldn't have put base fans on all the bowling pin inflatables, but that's Jimmy for you. Here's a side look at the inflatable. It looks really good. No overall complaints. And then here's a back view. You can really see that hugging expression that it's performing. And now here I am crouching on the ground, just like I did with the snowman, for the transition to the evening hours or nighttime. Alright, so it's nighttime now. For whatever reason, my camera does not want to show what this thing really looks like at night. It's giving it a much warmer coloring in terms of lighting. This inflatable's lights look very blue-ish or cool. Philips LEDs at Target explain what's warm, what's regular, and what's cool. Pretty much with all cheap fans, it's going to be cool lighting. But for whatever reason, my camera wants to say, oh, this is warm, and it's not. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the 7-foot airblown bowling pin Santa Claus inflatable from Lowe's. If you did, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Stay safe.